the Solar Equipment Development Unit, UDES, a research unit attached to the Renewable Energy Development Center, CDER, a government-funded research institution under the administrative authority of the Algerian Ministry of Higher Education and Scientific Research, is located in Bouismaïm, Wilayat Tipaza. Its staff is composed of more than 70 permanent researchers and PhD students. It is one of the leading institutions in the renewable energy field. The unit covers a broad spectrum of activities gathered within two divisions, Renewable Energy Equipment, EER, and Cooling and Water Treatment by Renewable Energies, FTEER. Each one has respectively four research teams. The EER has a PV wind platform. Combining different sources of renewable energy is one of our major interests. The experimental standalone hybrid PV wind platform is installed on the roof of the multi source system laboratory. It consists of a 4 kilowatt photovoltaic generator made of Suntec STP135 solar panels and two parallel wind turbines of 1 kilowatt each, also connected via dedicated whisper controllers. The AC part of the system is designed to ensure modularity. Hence, an inverter ensures the AC interface for the PV subsystem. Another inverter for the wind system and photovoltaic power generation. The hybridization between the two sources was established via a dedicated inverter. The energy storage subsystem consists of a park of solar batteries. The aim of this, this platform is to study the performance of standalone hybrid systems under Algerian climate. The PV multi-technology pilot plant installed in the UDES consists of 12.5 kilowatt peak photovoltaic fields of different technology. The monocrystalline and polycrystalline PV fields are installed on the roof of the building in a panel inclined to the latitude of the site, while the PV array using the thin film modules are installed on the facades of the building. Each of these technologies contributes up to 2.5 kilowatt P. The various PV fields are coupled to the grid through different PV inverters. UDES has a meteorological station primarily for measuring integral solar radiation, generic weather variables, and the solar radiation components. The data are stored in database management system, then reported in real time and historical data, which includes graphs and chart to view climate trends. To better fit researchers' needs, it is important to understand which types of panels, mono or polycrystalline, are better suited for various weather conditions. So the main purpose would be to obtain the, the estimation of maximum power generation from PV modules, depending on the output from a PV module environmental factor such as irradiation and cell temperature. For the planning operation of power systems, the prediction of the power generation is unavoidable for PV systems. For this purpose, irradiation, temperature and wind velocity are used as the input information whereas the output is predicted maximum power generation under the conditions given by those environmental factors. The project itself is carried out within a national research program. A 750 watt peak standalone PV system is installed outdoors, submitted to real conditions of operating in order to test and evaluate its performance under several conditions of operation. The first topic of every team is the photocatalysis. Every teams work on photocatalysis degradation of organic pollutants to eliminate pesticides, drugs and oil pollutants. Wastewater treatment teams in US develop new phototype of photocatalytic reactors operating with this process. Photocatalysis is also used for the elimination of bacteria and pathogen pollution using sodas method. Recently, the team is working on wastewater water treatment by microalgae.
The purpose of the research studies performed by the solar cooling team consists of using photovoltaic and thermal solar energy to power refrigeration systems and reduce electrical energy consumption in low power refrigeration and cooling systems. It also gives the opportunity for populations in isolated sites and rural areas where the investment cost of extending the grid is very high to acquire refrigeration and cooling systems. UDES offers the researchers three workshops. A workshop for electronic and electrical activities and automation, a workshop for the production of solar equipment, and metal carpentry workshop. UDES offers also an extensive library and up-to-date scientific collection of printed information resources, such as books, journals, scientific reports, dissertations, almost all branches of science and technology. The unit is widely open to national and international cooperation projects and the reception of students as part of their graduation or post-graduation training in the field of renewable energy. It also welcomes scientific visitors. In addition to research and development, UDES works in cooperation with universities and industrial partners in many projects of common interest.